Hello people, welcome back to Follow That. How are you doing well? Now then, guided missiles. So obviously you need a Cassata to do these, but let me just walk you through how they work. And you've got to be pretty accurate. So you see this guy, I've slowed it down. There he is in his car, which will actually hit. There we go. So the range for these is pretty small. So I missed him. But we've got this other guy here and he is static so should be able to just show him there we go slowed it down aimed well there he is just on the left and there you go that sort of range will hit something there you go so it shows up as that kill and like i say you need a casata for these and there's a couple of things to line them up first of all it's kind of pick your target on the map generally someone in open space and static and the only weird thing is is up is down, so it's the opposite to the normal controllers, but left is left and right is right. So up is down is the only thing you've got to know. And for actually hitting people, it's not easy, it takes a bit of practice, but generally if you can see them at the last minute, then you know you're going to hit, there you go. Got that guy <laughs> on there. And the missiles reload every minute. So he's going back to that spot, so he's obviously trying to get back into his plane. And I'm thinking probably wants a range because your Cassata will show up on the map. And like I said, don't, don't, please don't abuse this. Please don't abuse it. I kind of am a little bit here. I've only been going for one shot on one person. So as usual, you don't abuse it and be just a total griefer. But there's quite, they are quite fine. Look, so that guy there has got on his plane and he's heading for me. And if that happens, then I also picked up wanted stars for that kill. You can use your fast travel <laughs> and move out of the way. So see there, he's going for me in the gym. Look at that, oh, he's right there. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. <laughs> so I escaped his clutches, probably quite annoyed right now. Blew up his plane. And then just when he was gonna get revenge, fast traveled out of the way. So. A few other things to show me the seat coming. Or is he? Oh, I think he's given up. He's given up. You can see he's dealing with a player here. Here we go. No. It's gone. Alright. So, if we have a look at some of the other things. So, I've got someone at. They, like I say, you want them static and in open space. And then once our minute has elapsed. Right, and just to show you, if I'm shooting one right across the map there is a limited range to these probably it's about a third of the map and then you'll see losing connection on there and then it's gone but there is a quote with this if you're quite close to someone or you've lined them up then even though you lose connection it will still work so though i'm just at the edge but i still got that person so there you go popped up the bottom left Always the same, says Pavel. Hi, Pavel, I missed you. I haven't been in here for a while. Okay, so, and if you are get really accurate and good with this, you can even take out flying objects. Let me show you this one, Fort Sancudo. So, I noticed that person was static there in open space. I thought it would be a perfect target for this video, but no, he got in a plane and taken off. And here, I think, you just got to get a bit lucky with being able to spot them. And thankfully, he's in a reasonable size plane. He's in a jet. There he is. There he is. So I'm just hoping not he, that he's still in range. And this missile is pretty fast. So there we go. I've slowed it down again to show you. There's that character. I'm not sure if he know, does he know. He's about to find out. There we go. So with the targeting, I got it just right. Line it up. Bang. So that's the, probably the hit that I'm proudest of. Unfortunately, that person, again, rightly so, got annoyed about getting griefed, so has now got onto an oppressor Mark II and is heading for the Cassata. And I think if you can hit an oppressor, one of the, I mean, that is a good shot. It is very, very hard because they are so small. It's not like a jet. And you've got to be able to see them. So there is that oppressor on the map. The reason I thought I thought I'd seen him, but no. There we go. Too hard to hit. I got a bit distracted by uh, that 
that boat, and there it is, he is homing in. The oppressor missiles are raining down, so let me show you what happens. Yep, so if someone blows up your oppressor room, look, you get booted out and you respawn nearby. So you need to, again, if you get a sparrow, best vehicle in the game, I still think. You get away with that. I thought that that oppressor would still be coming for me. There we go, by respawning the Kasata and we're back. So he didn't actually get ready. He blew up my Kasata, but there we go. Some revenge, some revenge for him. And just a final thing, just to say, I don't want this to be <laughs> a griefer's guidebook, is you can actually train it on yourself in your Kasata. And as with it, as you know, if you've ever tried to blow up your Kasata for reasons unknown, I have done in another video on the channel, it actually takes quite a few hits. So one missile won't do it. There we go. My Kasata. So some self-griefing that didn't actually blow it up. You have to do multiple hits for that. But anyway, there you go. The guided missiles are actually quite a lot of fun, I have to admit. <laughs>